and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time with a discussion of a piece of hardware, this time we are going to discuss this little device here. Huh? This little device is a so-called rotary encoder. Huh? Let's see what we've got here. We have got here a turning knob, huh? so we can turn it, and we can turn it infinite. So we can turn it unlimited numbers to the left counterclockwise or unlimited number to the right clockwise okay we also have we can push it so we have some sort of button yeah? and we have some connections here's g and d ground okay this is clear for us then we have plus we have sw this means switch yeah so this is the the button here uh, then we have DD and COK. What is this? <laughs> what is this? How is this working? I will try to explain it to you on a sheet of paper. So, how is this all working? Yeah. This rotary encoder. Yeah. Rotary encoder, that's the name of it. I'll write it down. Rotary encoder. It is a typical example of incremental measurement. Yeah, there are videos describing incremental and absolute measurement. This is typical incremental measurement. So we have seen there is some sort of shaft. Okay, so here is the shaft. Okay. And this shaft can be turned clockwise or counterclockwise. Doesn't really matter. Mounted at the shaft, there is a tooth disc. Okay. Ooh, this is really not looking that nice. Does not matter for the explanation. In reality, we should have more of this teeth at this tooth disc. Okay. So, this tooth disc is connected here. Yeah. to plus 5 volt. This is how you can think about it. Yeah. Plus 5 volt. Then we do have two other connections. There's one connection connected here. This is called A. And then there is another connection connected slightly at a different position. This is B. If we are in that position, Right? Both display 5 volts. Yeah? So, let's see. I make it two charts. This is A. And this is B. Okay? Here are 5 volts. Five volts. And this here is the rotation. Okay. At the beginning, both do have A will have five volts. Yeah. And B will have five volts. And some point in time, this rotation yeah, was far enough yeah, that we are looking like that. Yeah. So we rotated in this direction. Yeah. And then only, only B is touching the tooth disc and A is already away from it. Yeah. What does it mean? A will drop to ground if there is a proper pull down and so on. Yeah? At the same point in time, B will stay. Yeah? B will stay on. Yeah? At the second point in time, at the further point in time. So this is this this is the point in time where I marked it with. This is brown, 
okay now at the next point in time we are already further and also B is no longer touching so B will disappear as well if I find out the correct color so this is at this pink yeah? this is ground yeah? here the next tooth is already appearing okay if we turn it a little bit further a is the first one to touch yeah? so here a will then again switch to five volts b will stay down okay until uh, until this teeth is also touching b then b will also change to plus five volt and this is how this will look like if we are turning it counterclockwise we have an offset of the two changes which are appearing always an offset here which are appearing because of the mechanical offset here right what does it help us yeah. what does it help us well if we are looking at an input if we're turning it the other way around by the way if we're turning it the other way around then always b will change first so it is like we're going in this direction clockwise or we're going in this direction counterclockwise all right so if i'm looking now for instance at a input a if this is changing i'm looking down i see uh -huh, b is different than a then i know this change was in this direction okay if we would change here in this direction and a is changing to one and b is the same then we're turning counterclockwise checked yeah if we just look at the change of of a from zero to one let's say yeah we're changing from zero to one if this zero to one is happening and b is zero yeah, then we must have moved in this direction if this zero to one is happening and b is one yeah, then we must have moved in this direction with these two signals and this logic i can determine whether i turn it clockwise or counterclockwise okay? and if i am counting the ticks how many impulses i have received i know exactly how far i was turning so and I know I know if I'm turning it up, I know if I'm turning it down, yeah? and I know how much. This is measurement. This is angular measurement, and this is a typical example of of uh, ah, searching for the word now. Not absolute measurement, but incremental. That's the word. Sorry. Incremental measurement. Yeah. Because incremental measurement means we know exactly how far we have gone and in which direction. But we don't know where we have started. So there is no zero point or something like this. Yeah. If we turn this thing on, it is something. Yeah. And then we know how far we go left or right. But we don't know where we have started. Yeah most applications or a lot of applications does not really matter so this is how a rotary encoder is working huh? now let's see if we can see if it is really doing it that way by using some leds huh? i will prepare a circuit for this huh? and show you okay so this is how it should work yeah? clk 
should be the first one, DD should be the last one. Let's see if we can see if this is really doing that way. I've prepared here a little something for you. See, I have just, I'm just using a power supply. Yeah? I'm using two LEDs, a green and a white one, and I will plug the rotor encoder. Yeah? I will use plus and minus. Plus is orange, minus a ground is, is, is uh, blue. All right. And then I will connect seal key, seal K and DT. So seal K is now the green one, DT is the white one. All right. So let's plug this in. Turn it on. Okay, both LEDs are lit. Now I will take this and slowly turn it counterclockwise. Ah, the first one, which is seriously disappearing, is seal K. And then the other one is disappearing. Going further. Oh, this was already pretty fast. Yeah? Try it once again. Seal K is gone. This is gone. Ah, you have seen. Yeah, there, there are uh, mechanical positions there, yeah? so it is not that easy to turn it that slowly. I will try it once again, counterclockwise. See, this is always the first one to change. Yeah? Now in the other direction. Uh, now it's the other one. See? This is now clockwise. So, green is CLK and white is DT. Indeed, it is working that way. So, we just have to use our Arduino to read two inputs. Okay? If you also want to read in the switch, then we need a third input. Yeah? We need to read two inputs. And whenever, let's say we are looking at one input, whenever this input is changing, and this is different, this means this changed first. Okay? Then it means we turned counterclockwise. If this is changing and this is already changed to the new state, then it means we are turning clockwise. And exactly this logic we want to implement in our Arduino. This we will do in next video. So for this time, I think the function is clear. Thank you very much for listening and goodbye.